Hey everybody, welcome back to Kratom Kingdom. This is your host, Chris Irving in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, things are going a little bit better for me lately, which is really cool. And just to show you that I do read all the comments, I got rid of the squeaky chair. Somebody commented that my chair was too squeaky, so I, for my birthday I bought myself a brand new chair. And it's awesome. I mean, it was something I, it's actually comfortable. It still has spring to it, and it's not squeaking every time I shift to grab a drink of Kratom. Um, and another thing is, I swear to you, if I came across that I was begging for money from my follow, from my subscribers, that wasn't my intention at all. I was just telling you the situation I was in, and, um, Because I feel like I'm really getting to know a lot of you. And um, in that sense, I don't have a lot of physical friends near me. So I don't talk to anybody. So I talk to you guys. And today, about Kratom. I want to tell you some secrets that I've learned about Kratom. First off, you can drink too much. When my life gets really, really shitty, kind of like it is right now, when it gets really, really bad, I tend to drink Kratom all day long. And it kind of numbs me out a little bit. It makes me not think my life is so horrible. And then even when I'm taking my anti-anxiety medication, my life is still seems pretty miserable. But... um Kratom really helps me with that. So it's it's just like taking a drug, another drug, to um, escape the reality of my crappy life. When in reality, if I would think about it more, plan it better, make better decisions, I wouldn't need all the... I wouldn't be in all this anxiety. But I made some financial mistakes and... I'm paying for it now. So I, but I recently spoke with my case manager and I told her I need two months to save a thousand dollars. That way I can get enough money to hire somebody to help me physically move my stuff because my TV is too big for me to carry. And my bed, I mean, I could probably carry that myself in my car, but my TV is really the only thing that I have of value that I can't deal with on my own. I mean, it's so big it has to mount to the wall because I, it doesn't have legs anymore because the idiots that helped me move last time didn't bother bringing the legs with it once they took it off the wall. They just left them in the apartment I was living in and remounted my TV, which having the legs would have... Is, I mean, having it mounted is nice because it's high enough to where I can lay in bed at night and watch a movie. I don't have cable. You know, I use Amazon Prime for all my TV or Netflix. I um, hate Hulu. Um, but I'm obsessed with these movies called Found Footage, like the Blair Witch Project. Well, there's a whole, billions of film school students that realized, like, yeah, we can make a found footage film, easy, cheap, and it could be like our thesis. So there's tons and tons of tons of low, low quality B rating found footage movies, you know, where kids go on vacation with their cell phone and record their vacation and something bad happens and they make a movie out of it. And it's, but to me, just the crappy quality, the shaky camera and and every once in a while, there'll be something that's scary. Like, the camera will swing by, and it'll just glimpse a shadowy figure. And to me, all of them hooked. Um, I hope that this is loud enough. I'm using two microphones now. And I don't know if this is going to be any better or not. Um, I'm not going to be able to get a new computer anytime soon, because it's about five hundred dollars or six hundred dollars for the one I re well for the one I really want is six thousand, but that'll never happen. Um, 
if I can get one that will help me with running a real video editing software program called Logic Pro, which I loved, I could do custom back. Like right now, I don't have a custom background. I mean, I just have something that's better looking than the wall behind me with my bookshelf. Um, and it's kind of become my thing. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I'm really, really trying to make more interesting, less personal, and more professional looking videos because I do this not for money. I make not a single dime off of YouTube. However, I did have a subscriber who is an amazing, amazing person send me the best crowd that I had ever had. I mean, he just left it in the comments. I messaged him my my physical home address, and a couple of days later, I had a month's worth of green mangda and red bali, my two favorites. And I'm still drinking them to this day, but they're going to run out by the end of this month, and I'm going to have to spend the money to get some more, which is going to put my new computer on hold. But anyway, uh, um, another secret with Kratom is what I've been doing because it messes up my digestive system so much is I'll drink a cup of Kratom, then I'll drink a cup of coffee, then I'll drink a cup of a glass of water to kind of flush that powder through my system and um, move around more. You know, for me, I mean, I'm literally 90% disabled. I can barely walk. And, but if I can walk a little bit more and you know, get my digestive system moving, then I won't have a problem of not going for one or two weeks at a time. And I don't, I don't want to take laxatives or stool softeners anymore because they don't work for me. Um, but drinking less of the powder and flushing it through my system really helps. Plus, because I drank so much of it, I have to have a lot more for it to have the same effect. So I try fasting from it for a couple of days, and then when I go back to it, it's like having it for the first time all over again. So those are some secrets that I've learned over the years. Instead of putting more crowd in my cup to compensate for my tolerance level, I put less, and I drink more water or coffee, because I need to have something warm to drink. and. Um, because I'm fatigued all the time, I have no energy. You know, Kratom usually gives me um, energy. But because my tolerance is so high, it doesn't do that anymore. And um, <laughs> because of my age, you know, it's like I have a couple of yellow Kratom at night before I go to bed, which winds me down because yellow for me is a calming strain. I don't know what it is for you, but for me it calms me down. But it also makes me have to urinate. You know, I'm at the age now where I have to urinate every freaking five minutes. And so when it starts to affect my sleep, I try not to have any liquid after 8 p.m. Because I go to I get in my bed at about 8.30 and try to watch a movie. I usually fall asleep on the movie and wake up 20 minutes later to urinate over and over again through the night, and it's just horrible. And because of my balance and my living situation, I don't like to leave my room, so, but it's looking like a couple of months I'm going to have my own apartment again, which will be amazing because I'll be able to have a proper YouTube studio in my apartment. I mean, it's going to be a one-bedroom loft for poor people, but that's the hell I am, so whatever. And I'm not asking you guys for anything. I mean, I do this channel because I love it. I really love talking about Kratom. And lately I've been talking a lot more about myself because I've made over 400 videos on Kratom and I don't have the money 
to experiment with other strains, with other ideas, with other companies, with other countries. And I don't personally know anybody in my area that drinks Kratom, so I can't interview anybody. But I can tell you that, you know, my when I come to a pinch, I can go down the hill to a little convenience store, and I can walk there if I have to. And for $60, I can get 16 ounces of bad crap. I mean, it's terrible. I, I, I don't even know why I do it. Because if I can just get $100, I can get from Amazing Botanicals, which is a lot of kratom, and it's high-quality stuff. Um, but strain matters, quantity matters, and your potentiator matters. I tried orange juice, but it, I, I just didn't like it. I prefer lemon juice, and I use a lot of lemon juice. I mean, I buy big jars or big bottles of 100% lemon juice. Not from a concentrate, just lemon juice. So it's got citric acid, it's got really good flavoring, and it relaxes me. I, it's like drinking one, one lemonade with this nitrogen speciosa in it. Another thing I do is I drink these. This is probably like four coffee cups in one cup. And I'll drink, I'm trying to cut down to about four of these a day instead of 16 of these a day, which is what my average normally would be. But it was killing me. I mean, it was literally killing me. I mean, I would have to go to the hospital to empty my bowels because it would be a month. It's still backed up. And then when I would finally break free, it would destroy that area of my body. I mean, because it was like pushing a rock through a garden hose. And it's eventually going to split out the end, you know, of the hose. Terrible metaphor, but better than saying... The reality, you know, what my doctor tells me. Um, hell, I've been taking my medicine exactly on time. Ex you know, not overtaking my benzos. Not under. I undertake them if anything, just because eventually they're going to want to get me off of them. That's the goal, which scares the hell out of me. If if a medicine works, why not keep me on it? But because it's a controlled substance and it's highly addictive, they and there's nothing better, they don't want to mess with it. I mean, I if I was guaranteed that I could stay on this dosage, two and a half milligrams a day, for the rest of my I would be happy as hell, you know, but in a couple of days, I go to my psychiatrist again, and he's going to want to cut out another half a milligram. So then when am I not going to have Kratom? Or, um my medicine probably during the day because I've got kratom that I drink during the day or maybe not in the morning because that's when I really drink kratom um well y'all I hope you continue to watch the videos till the end because it really does matter the only reason I'm not monetized now is my hourly view time hasn't reached the ridiculous amount that YouTube wants it to be I've reached the number of subscribers, so that one's cool. Thank you very much, y'all. And I still seem to get subscribers, even though my channel sucks now. I mean, I, I've got to work harder on this. I've got to start brainstorming better, making better thumbnails, and really become a better YouTuber. For me, it I have to be in a good state of mind and really have to think of something new that's interesting about Kratom um, or that would help you guys. So we're at 15 minutes and I think I've wasted enough of your time. I hope you all are having an amazing week and 
I will talk to you again very soon. All right, peace out, y'all. I love you all. And I do read your comments, and they do matter. <laughs>